I have started and stopped and restarted this video uh, probably six or seven times now, and I'm tired of doing it. So we're just going to go all the way through. Uh, this tutorial is to show you how to switch something on and off very easily. It's something that we can set up in no time once you get used to it, but I'm going to walk you step by step through it and, and show you how to go about it. So this can be used for uh, handheld items, for uh, accessories, clothing, anything you want to switch on or off, this is how you do it. So um, the very first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and place a prop um, on my avatar here. Just the easiest way to show you is just to go ahead and walk you right through it. Um, now I already have a prop ready to go here. Uh, I have a, a bat that I'm going to be using. Um, and so I'm going to place this on the avatar. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and place it right onto the bone where I want it to be parented which is the left wrist here, um, and that's because, well, I'm left-handed. Uh, but you can do that for the right wrist or wherever you want to parent it. Um, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and go up to transform here, and I'm going to go ahead and reset position. And that's going to put the origin point of the mesh where the bone is. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to basically orient this, scale this, to size, just get it where I want it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and cheat because I already have the settings that I want saved um, in a preset. So there we go. And I do all these videos in one take because I have no idea how to use video editing software because I'm stupid, as I've tried to point out before. Um, so now I have uh, my prop set up here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and disable it because I want this to be disabled by default um, and I just you know even even if people have uh, my animations turned off in VR chat I still don't want them to see that um, I've noticed sometimes that I'll see avatars um, that I, I don't have animations turned on for and I'll see all of their props all that kind of stuff displayed because it's relying on animations to uh, to hide it and that's, I don't want that. We want the opposite. So I'm hiding these by default. Um, and so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create some animations. So I'm going to go to my controllers here and my FX layer, my FX controller here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder. I like to keep everything organized. And I'm going to call this Boggles. And any any props, anything like that that I, that I add to my avatar, the animations for it, I'm going to put in the Toggles folder here where the FX controller is. And so now, um, what you're going to need is two animations. You're going to need one to switch the prop on and one to switch it off. So go ahead and right-click, Create Animation. And we're going to call this Bat On. And then we're going to create another one exactly the same way, Bat Off. So now I have my two animations here. And I'm just going to take both of these, just shift-click both of these. And I'm going to take these and drag them up to here on my avatar and let go. And that's going to create a new controller. And so now, the reason we did that is because you need a controller to be able to edit these animations. Otherwise, you will not be able to add any properties to them. So we're going to click on our avatar here in the hierarchy. And we're going to go to our animation window. If you need to pull up the animation window, it is Control-6. Or you can go to Window, Animation, Animation. Once we, once we click on our avatar here, and then go to our animation window, these two animations will be in your uh, animation selection. So we're going to start with that off. Now it's already turned off. All I'm going to do here is just hit the record button. That's going to put us into our animation pose here. I'm going to go up here to my inspector window after clicking on the uh, object in our hierarchy. And I'm just going to toggle it on, and then I'm going to toggle it right back off. And what that has done is that's created a... Um, a property, an animation property, and it is bat game object is active, and you can see here that the checkbox is not checked, meaning that it will not be active, and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, and switch out of the preview, and then I'm going to switch it over to bat on, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to hit record. It's going to put us into our animation pose here. I'm just going to hit that checkbox. And when I did that, 
it creates that game object is active and the checkbox is checked meaning that it will be active and we're going to stop recording and switch out of the preview and those two animations are done so what i'm going to do now is because we created that that animation controller we're going to go ahead and just right click and delete get rid of that controller and then i'm going to go to my avatar here in the hierarchy and then in our inspector window here you have your animator we're going to go ahead and just click this little circle here and select none just so that we make sure that controller is empty now then, we're going to go to our FX controller, go to our animator window, and we're going to go ahead and set up a new parameter for it. I'm going to use a Boolean. A Boolean is only one bit of data, so it's really efficient for using for simple toggles like this. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and call this bat toggle. I'm not going to check this. I want it to be off by default or false. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to call it that toggle. When I create something like this, I always keep it uh, named the same way. I keep the uh, uh, I keep the same naming uh, format so that I know exactly what I'm looking at. All right. And so I have this new layer here. And what I did is I went ahead and clicked on this little gear here. And the weight, we went ahead and set it from 0 to 1. You want that weight to be 1. All right. And then we're going to go find our two animations that we created and we're going to take our off animation first and set that there and then we're going to take our on animation and put it there just like that and then we're going to click on our first animation right click make transition and then left click onto our other uh, animation here and then we're going to click on the transition here we're going to toggle off exit time the transition duration uh, you can set it to like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I'm just going to hit 0. Just immediately uh, switch over, right? Our conditions list here. We're going to go ahead and click the plus here to add a new condition. We're going to scroll down to uh, bat toggle. And it's going to be true. We're going from off to on. So we want that, that Boolean value to be true. And this is set up now. And we're going to go ahead and make another one from the on value to off. And the exact same settings. So no exit time, transition duration to zero, conditions, bat toggle, false. So we have the transition that switches it from false to true, and then another transition here that goes from true to false. And that is set up. The FX, FX controller is now done. That's all there is to it. So now we're going to go to our expressions parameter. Now, I have these set up in folders here, but if you don't know where yours is, just go ahead and click on the avatar, find your VRC avatar descriptor in the inspector window, scroll down to your expressions uh, menu here, and just click parameters, and that'll uh, show you where your parameters expression menu is here. So now that we have our expressions parameters list here, I'm going to go ahead and add a new one, and I'm going to call it bat toggle. The exact same one that I have in my FX controller. I want it to be named exactly the same way. We're going to set it to a Boolean value. We're going to leave this unchecked. Now, the saved value determines if that carries over to new instances or new worlds. Um, with props, I don't really want those to be carried over. So I'm going to uncheck this. Props are just kind of something that I want to pull out in the moment, and then I don't worry about them later. Um, if it was like clothing or, or maybe uh like an rgb toggle or anything like that then yes i would want that to be saved when i go to the next instance but just a fun prop i just want that to turn off so uh, i'm going to uncheck saved and i am done with the expressions parameters and now the last thing we need to do is just create a menu item for it um, i like to use sub menus uh, menu can only have up to eight items within it so sub menus are really good for kind of keeping things organized and not overloading a single menu so I'm going to go into my submenus here, um, and I'm going to right-click, go to Create, VR Chat, Avatars, Expressions Menu. And then I'm going to name this uh, Props. Just you name whatever you want. All right, so I have my Props menu here. I'm going to go Add Control, and I'm going to call this App. Yeah. I'm going to set it to a toggle, and the parameter... I set the bat toggle and that is done 
And the last thing I need to do is just go to my main menu here, add a control. I'm going to call this props. The type is going to be a submenu. And then on the submenu slot, we're just going to find our props menu that we made. And that is done. And so the last thing that we need to do now is test. So uh, with Liuma's AV3 emulator installed, uh, which will be in the description, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And that's going to uh, go ahead and, and switch over here to our scene, just so I can, you know, pan the camera to where I want to see it. Um, and then I'm going to click on my avatar. And over here, we have our menu here. I'm going to go to props. That, and you can see that it toggles on and it toggles off. Very easy toggle to set up. And that's all there is to it. Uh, I have more stuff coming. Just uh, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.